if am I lagging right now? What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skyma, and I'm back with another live stream video for you guys. And first, let me turn the comments so I can see your comments around here. All right, so far, I have not received not a single comment yet, but still. I bring you another live screen video for you guys and today we'll be talking about about the New York Toy Fair of 2020 and it starts tomorrow and I know there's a lot of collectors out there are so excited that what kind of reveals will be shown at the Toy Fair and the only thing I'm so curious about is are they gonna review more um, miraculous ladybug toys? If they are, I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do. Um, let me see. A toy news video about the miraculous ladybug toys. Hold on, guys, because I just gotta distract it. I'm back guys sorry about that now I will say tomorrow the New York Toy Fair will begin and I am so excited because I hope they are reviewing more toys of Miraculous Ladybug but not just only Miraculous Ladybug I hope they show more toys about sack heroes like sack storm and power players and so far Pirate Players like a new TV show from Sack. And so far that TV show is getting sicker and sicker. Better than bet it's getting better than ever. Um see. So far no comics Than Sherman's Prime because we see like more figures that not even Sherman's Prime could not um, take took footage out of it and if they're gonna make more Pokemon toys both um, this line like San Galeo and the Figma and the SH figure arts for, sorry about that I forgot to say SH figure arts so yeah are they gonna be showing more toys from those lines because the line who make this Son Galeo, I do like it because look at all the great work he did making this Pokemon with the paint apps and detail. It's really amazing. It's not that bad. And so far both Figma and SH Figure Arts only have three figures. So if we're lucky they might review more over there in the Toy Fair. So far, not a single comic, but doesn't matter. The comics will not matter to me. Let me say the try to do something here. Because I'm using an app that helps me to do a live stream video. So let me see here. Mm -mm. But doesn't matter. But I'm still going to leave this just in case I, like if someone leaves me a comment there. Like my my homeboy CB Hunt or Maxi 808 and they the ones who watch my videos a lot and I really liked it and also sometimes they share my videos like leaving links to their videos and sharing it on maybe on Twitter and Facebook well I have both of them on Facebook so I hope they review more toys from this line of the Pokemon figures I kinda of forgot the name of the brand and also for ASH Figure Arts and Figma. Because I really want those lines for so far. No, not so far. I really want Figma to continue making more Pokemon figures. Because I really like how they've done with that figure red. I do love the paint apps. I never had that figure. 
but maybe in the future I will get it. Okay. Now, what type of reveals will be shown? Oh yeah, um, around this week, I saw a toy news video from JC. They're saying that Yamakushki is doing a new Marvel figure from the line, and it's Cable. But so far, it's only a prototype. It doesn't have any um, paint apps, but it does have some great sculpting with the head. And I think it's going to be way better than the Hasbro Marvel Legend from the Deadpool wave. But I still prefer the toy bits, but let's see how the Yamakushki done it. And I bet it will be shown over there in the Toy Fair, because Toy Fair will be showing a lot of figures, a lot of prototypes, and pictures. It means that this character is going to be turned into a figure. So, what kind of figures are going to be shown in the Yamakushki company? Like Marvel and DC. So far, that company it is kicking in with good, with good figures, all made, all done, and bunch of great work to do with the articulation, and the paint apps and the accessories they come with. And I have not a single figure from that line, but I've been seeing some reviews, like like Daredevil 19, but I don't watch that guy anymore. Somehow I don't. I don't watch his videos anymore because I kind of unsubscribe to him. But I've been seeing some reviews from um, Charmish Prime, I believe, and also Anti Customs. And the articulation of those figures are really cool. Okay, now for King of Hearts figures, they got to review more with um, both Diamond Select and the Bring Arts line. Well, I don't have I don't have not a single figure from the Bring Arts line so far, but I do have some figures from the um, from the um, Diamond Solid ones. And here they are. I got Sora, Roxas, and Axel. But the best out of these three is um. Sora, because I love how Diamond Solid made this guy with his paint abs, the sculpting around his back of his hoodie, and the detail right there in the torso, the, like the chains. I do love the uh, hair sculpt, but this should not at least add on the smile, because I know that the smile is kind of um, bugs me, but the smile won't even matter to me. Because they did a great work. They did made a, a Hercules figure from the game, and that was really cool. If they make a Hercules figure, that means they should make some other Disney characters from the Diamond Selects, like Ariel from Little Mermaid, um, Tarzan. Oh, it's Red. What's up, Red? How how are you, my friend? Yeah. Stop motion red. He always he always um keep me touch for every video out there. Yeah. Now I was trying to say that I hope they make um an aerial figure from Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Tarzan, and Peter Pan. And my theory could be is that well I'm gonna start with the Aladdin. <laughs> Great job with your work. <laughs> Thank you, Red. And thank you, because you are watching my live stream right now. And that makes me very happy that I got someone out there is watching me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do some theories around here, like how those figures will be in their package. So I'm going to start with Aladdin. My theory is to be, you're welcome, that the Aladdin could be in a two-pack or a three-pack. Well, mostly it could be um, a two-pack because party will come with um, Jafar or Genie or Jafar as his um, Genie form. But if they're gonna make like a Jafar figure and a Genie figure, I think those are gonna be like a little bit taller. So yeah, I think this will be a two-pack right there. What's up, Steph? Another person's watching me. 
it means that I am live in from right here in Los Angeles talking about the New York Toy Fair of 2020 that is going to start tomorrow and a lot of collectors are going to go there that's it me but I'm still going to go to the San Diego Comic Con now I would try to say is Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna cut the. I'm not gonna cut the video. I'm just gonna cut right here the chatting that what I was like um, live like yesterday because um, I was about to live on Tuesday of this week and somehow that the app store took down the the app I like to do in my live streams. So I try a lot of apps and so far those apps didn't work. And I see that this app that I'm using right now that I'm lighting, I see it's working a little bit. So sorry about that. Because I don't know what the heck, what they took that app down. I really liked it, even that was like, even that you can't hear my voice. I really kind of, I did like that app a lot. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys that I have some bad news. Remember I said that I'm going to do an unboxing video when I get my package from Big Bad Toy Store? Well, my package was not delivered to my house. Because in my account from Big Bad Toy Store, it says there that my package was delivered here in my house. But how come it was says it's been delivered? That I was here in my house and I was outside recording, doing my 400 subscriber video, and I did not receive anything. So I called the, the store and also I call uh, FedEx. It's the truck who delivers my package of Big Bad Toy Store to my house. I called both of them and saying that how come that my my order didn't arrive here in my house. And then they tell me that well, they say that they should at least arrive, arrive into your house. Okay. And from there I called FedEx. I kind of report them about my package that they're not being delivered. So they say they're gonna call the, the truck and they're gonna give me a phone call. And but if they gave me a phone call, they said that the truck they say they deliver it right there in my front door neighbor's house. But when my brother went to their house, he asked that any and any of my package came into my into your house, and they say no. So my what my brother did that he called both. FedEx and Big Bad Toy Store like what happened and they said that they might give me a refund or they're gonna replace the items that were missing well here's some good news my toys were they got replaced that means I'm getting some new figures and they're on their way so that's the good news and you gotta see what I order from Big Bad Toy Store you have to be careful how you order things online because there will be there will be some packages that won't even arrive or will won't not be delivered to your house. So you have to pay you have to pay attention to the truck and to your credit card account. That's important, okay, guys. Now back to the toy fair stuff. All right, I was trying to say that if they're gonna make a Latin figure from the Diamond Select of the Kino Hard game. Now, I'll just say that if they, they're, they're, if they're going to make a Latin figure from the game of Kingdom Hearts, my theory is it could be a 2-pack or a 3-pack. Because Aladdin, and with him could be Jafar, like his normal self, or with his genie form, or it could be the genie. And the accessories could be um, the lamp or Abu. I think the Abu will be a Latin accessory, the little monkey that he's going to have. And also the sword. So that one could be a two pack or a three pack. One of both. Now for Ariel. Okay, if they do make an Ariel figure from the line of Diamond Select from Kingdom Hearts, my theory could be a two pack. A two pack or three pack. Because maybe it might come with Sora with his dolphin form. Or maybe she will come with. Um, 
Donald and Goofy as their C forms. Or we could come with Flander and Sebastian somehow. But I would not mind for them making an aerial figure. Well, tell you the truth guys, I used to watch um, Little Mermaid when I was a little kid. Because back then I was a little kid, I had nothing to watch. Because sometimes I get bored and I just watch whatever movie that my sisters put. Wow. It's freezing again like yesterday. Alright. I want to tell you guys, please ignore the freezing part. Because I'm very using this app right now. So I have to be careful how I'm using this app. If the live stream gets cut, that means there's a glitch on this app. But don't worry. I'm going to do another live stream video when I hit the 1000 subscriber mark. So please guys, ignore the freezing stuff because this is the glitch that is happening in the app. Okay. Yeah, that my sister, they put whatever movie, I just sit there and I just um, sit there and watch. Yeah, so if they do make an aerial figure, it could be a three pack or a two pack. One of both again. Now for Tarzan, maybe it could be a two pack, I believe. And it probably will come with Sora from the first Kingdom Hearts game with his normal clothes. And Tarzan, his accessory could be his um, spear. Like in the like in the game and like in the movie. I would not mind if they make a Tarzan from the Diamond Select in the Kingdom Hearts line. I would not mind. And Sora, like always, he's gonna come with his Keebly. Now for Peter Pan. Now I, I think this might be a three pack. Because it might come with um, Peter Pan himself, maybe with Sora from the first game of Kingdom Hearts. And let me see, let me see. Or you come with um, Captain Hook or Windy or Peter Pan with Windy and Captain Hook. One of both of those. Well, that's all my, that's all, those are my theories I'm doing that how those figures will be in their package in two packs or three packs. Well, Peter Pan could be with Captain Hook or Sora or Sora with Windy or Windy with Captain Hook. So, one of both would be cool. Well, who knows? In Bring Arts, they do a great job. In the Bring Arts, it was a savior from all collectors. Because I don't collect um, Play Arts Kai figures because they made those figures kind of a little bit tall, like 11 inches. And I don't collect 11 inches figures like this Axel. Now, Axel is perfect like this scale, like this height. Like seven inches, it should make him like this size. Like the rest of the figures on um, Play Arts guys, but it didn't. But Bring Arts came to a rescue. I have a um, mass. Okay. <laughs> now, now I'm trying to say. That Bring Arts came a rescue for every collector, so thank you, Bring Arts. And the first figures from the Bring Arts was the Kingdom Hearts. So, what kind of figures will be shown from the Bring Arts? So far, that Kingdom Hearts, um, Final Fantasy, and um, Dragon Quest are still continuing; they're still growing the line. So, we might see more figures from these lines. For Final Fantasy, I want them to. For Final Fantasy, I hope they show a figure of Vixen Valentine's because, because that guy is so awesome in the game and my cousin used to have a game of that Final Fantasy game. I really like how he looks and also have the movie of Final Fantasy. It's really not that bad of a heck of a character. So bring Arts makes a figure out of that guy. I bet it will be 7 inches just like Sephiroth and, um, and Cloud. And for Kingdom Hearts, I wanted to make a Marusha figure, but it doesn't matter what figures that 
What company will make a Marusha figure from Diamond Salads or Bring Arts? That doesn't even matter because Marusha is one of the coolest characters in the Kingdom Hearts game. If the Diamond Salads will make a, a Marusha figure, Barty's going to have the same body mold like Axel but different head sculpt and different accessories he's going to come with. And also want Diamond Salads to make a... Um, well, I heard a rumor that they're making a Terra figure. And let's see how it's gonna look. It will be in a prototype or will be shown as a picture that this character will be turned into a toy. And for Bring Arts, well, doesn't matter if they are gonna make a Marisha figure because I really want that character to be turned into a toy. And maybe that Bringard's got some new license to make new figures from different lines from a game. I hate you, CN. I hate you, CN. Uh, Dari, streaming. What's wrong with you? You better, you better not talk to me like that because if you say something like that, I'm gonna delete those messages. Because why are you hating me for? I haven't even done nothing to you. Yeah, I think he is mad. He's saying he hates me. No, no, you better not say that word right now, kid. You know what? If you say one more bad word, those messages will be deleted. We're lighting right now. Because there's kids who are watching this video. Don't make me mad. Because I'm not making you mad. You know what? I'm just going to annoy your... Your hate comments and your freaking bad language. Or else I will block you. Sorry about that guys. I just gonna I just gonna delete those messages. I'm not gonna read another another message from you. I'm just gonna ignore you after this live stream. I'm gonna delete all those messages that you're leaving and I'm gonna block you. So I'm not gonna read them. Now back to the Bring Arts line. So maybe like the line where you got some new license and make new figures. Okay, so we are gonna move on to store collectibles. There gotta be new figures from Mortal Kombat and new figures from the Injustice game. Okay. For Mortal Kombat. I have a theory that they might show the Motaro figure because they've been hearing rumors that Storm Collectibles will make a Motaro figure from the Mortal Kombat line. But we don't know if it will be shown as an actual figure or just a part type. I bet it will be a part type out of that figure. And, um, and for Injustice. I want I hope they show more figures from that line. Uh stop motion studio, you better not say bad words either. Cause remember, this is a friendly channel. Cause remember I said what I was like, I was about to quit on YouTube because because the, the these new changes are happening. That's okay. But remember if you guys are leaving comments, I want to tell you do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words because there's little kids are watching my videos and also my family are watching my videos too. And they're going to find out if you guys are leaving bad comments and you guys might get in trouble. So I don't want to know you guys to get in trouble. So um, stop motion studios. Go try to delete that comment you just said. Try it. Try to delete it and leave it like something else like please just ignore this um, nut head or just ignore this cuckoo head like that alright. So try to delete your comment. And you read what you said. Give someone. So that. And I will delete the messages. Okay. I delete it. All right, and then you can you can like read message again, but say something else like just ignore that cuckoo head. 
because I am going to ignore him because after this live stream, I'm going to delete that guy's comments because I don't want none of those comments to be shown in this video because like I said, there's little kids are watching this video. Okay, now for Storm Collectibles, the whole thing review more um, Injustice characters. I'm gonna ignore you too, animate. Because I'm also gonna delete your comment. If you leave comments, you're gonna get in big trouble with my family. If you leave another bad comment, I'm gonna ignore you too, animate. I'm just gonna delete your comment too. Now I was saying, and for Storm Collectibles, I hope they review more Injustice figures, like like maybe a song with Grandi because I do like zombie characters and also like zombie video games so I hope they do make a song with Grandi I'm just gonna ignore you I was saying like Solomon with Grandi that's gonna be a cool figure if they show that in the toy fair but not just only Solomon with Grandi maybe it could be an Ares figure because Ares must be a it will be like a cool figure to be shown in, in the toy fair. And Ares, Lex Luthor, who else? Um, the Flash, Green Arrow, and maybe Destro. But I'm not really a huge fan of Destro. But I bet that they will make those figures in the future someday. Okay. Now for the Mitaro figure. We don't know it will be shown as an actual figure with paint apps or it will be like a prototype. And I bet that the package of that figure will be heavier and it's gonna be I think we'll stand like Shao Kahn around like that size. Around that size. And I bet and I bet that the package of that Mitarophy will be a little bit heavy. New figure of Naruto, yeah, I've been, I saw that like in Big Bad Toy Story and also Daredevil 19 that the SH figure arts are making another Naruto figure. It's called 2.0. And for SH figure arts on the Naruto line, if we're lucky, a whole that a soccer figure is because it does shows over there in the toy fair because lots of people were waiting. For that soccer figure to come out, I watched Dirt Devil 19 view. <laughs> yeah, Dirt Devil 19 is the one who he was, he was showing that. And he said that we have to support the line of the SH figures from the Naruto so they can, might continue the line. So maybe I will do like a top 10 video most wanted SH figure arts of Naruto figures. Because we've been waiting for the Sakura figure for a long time. Because it was shown in some type of um, WonderCon or Comic Con. I just don't know what it was. But it was showing there longer with the Rock Lee and the Gara. And we've been waiting for that figure to come out for a long time. But if we lucky for in this year, they might show it at the Toy Fair. Yeah, what about the one, the one you, that you want, Gara? Gara? Uh, you should spell Gara? Uh, it's not how you spell it, Ghana. Because I cannot see the, the comments because of the reflection of the sun. All the anime heroes of the Naruto figures? Hmm. Well, the Naruto heroes. Well, we don't we don't have not a lot of information, but I bet that we might show those at the toy fair because tomorrow the toy fair will start. It's gonna be it's gonna be showing a lot of good reveals from every company line: Diamond Celeste, Marvel Legends, Mesco, SH Figure Arts, Hot Toys, a lot of good stuff, and also toys for little kids like PG Masks. My Little Pony, Hot Wheels, what else for 
and also um, nerf. But it's not just only action figures will be shown. It also will be shown toys for little kids. Like little kids like to play a lot. Okay, now I would try to say that the software figure, if we're lucky, that that figure will be show over there at the toy fair. But the whole that they the whole like the real more is just figure arts Naruto figures. But I also want to make a Hinata figure because Hinata she's one of the best characters in the Naruto animation. So I want a Hinata figure. But let's we'll see if both Storm Collectibles and the Tamasi Nations are still gonna continue the line of the Street Fighters. So far, so far that both companies they re review on um, um, a brand new Street Fighter character like the SH Figure Arts they review two um, Street Fighter characters that was Blanca and Beta, and Storm Collector was Dio and Segat. I better not talk about that about girlfriends, okay? Now I was saying, well, they did they did a great job making it, um a Sigat um Sigat in Dio, but the problem is the the height. Like both Gaio and Sigat, they're like eight inches tall figures, and I'm not gonna bite them. I prefer the old the old one, like things called Sona, but. I really want someone to make um, other characters into figures just like Rashid here. And this character is all, is this character is still new. It was made to a figure. And I like it. So maybe they might review more ASH figure arts from the Street Fighter line. Maybe like a jury figure. And let's see if the Storm Collectibles got licensed to make other type of figures from different lines because lots of people and collectors they want them to get the lines of I'm gonna ignore your comments guys now I was trying to say a whole lot of both SH figure arts and not not SH figure arts damn it I forgot Thank you, Red. You like to support me a lot. But don't worry, I'm gonna ignore those guys right now because these ones are, are distracting me. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to say that, that hold that storm collector like a bunch of people they want like figures from Killer Instinct and Dark Stalkers. But I also want them to get licensed from another type of game that is not fighting games, like the Ashra Wrath. Cause that game is so cool and the character is cool as well. So I want Storm Collectibles get a license to make an Ashura figure. But maybe I'm, I'm gonna ask B Customs to make me a custom of the Ashura. If you guys have Instagram, please follow B's Customs. No. Stop Motion Red is just a follower of my channel. Remember, whoever leaving me a bad comment, I'm gonna delete it after I'm done here. Now I'll try to say that if you guys have um Instagram, please follow um Beast Customs. And you can ask him whatever custom he you guys want him to make. Because that guy is a very great customizer. And I'm gonna ask him to make me like a, a Yay Shala from Ruby and an Ashra figure. Now, for, let's see, McFallen. If they're gonna be more releasing toys of Mortal Kombat from the line of McFallen toys, so far there only been four of them Scorpion, Sub Zero, Johnny Cage, and Raiden. And I believe they might show one of Liu Kang, but I bet it will be a prototype. Seeing Skyma Jr. Hello. I've been not hearing you for a long time. How you been? The one you see my name, but that <laughs> I don't mind. 
Because I see that there's some guys who are fans in my channel. Mm -hmm. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you see how much happy you made me seeing Scotty Mac Jr. Let me see. Um, but I am in the. So I be I'll be uh been missing out lately. Yeah, you've been missing a lot. But don't worry, as long as that you are here, see Scotty Jr. Now. I was trying to say that I believe they might show a prototype of a Luke King figure from the McFarlane toys. And I bet they might show more of them from that line. But they're gonna make another wave of My Hero Academia, Wave 2. And also, they're gonna make more figures of The Walking Dead and also from Halo. And. Who knows if they might continue the line of the One Punch Man. So far I have not seen an episode of that anime. But I've been seeing like um. I've been seeing some. Um. Been seeing some. AV videos. What happened to your. Old account. Oh. Like my old account. Yeah, they did stole my phone. And when I found it, that my old phone, it didn't work anymore. Some of that they damaged it. It was a pretty old phone. But I uh, hopefully that there's there's might be a chance to fix it. So I can add it to that account, to this account, to all my views that I did in 2015 and 2016. Because in 2015 that's when I started doing YouTube videos. Do you do um a car at car act? I don't know. But don't worry, if my phone still has a chance to be fixed, I'm gonna fix it. So I've been seeing like Amy B videos that get that the animation of One Punch Man. And so far my brother really finished watching it. And this on Netflix right now, so maybe I will see it right away. Let's see how it is. But we will know if they're gonna, still going to continue the line of the One Punch Man. Oh yeah, I try to say the, the Mortal Kombat line of the Storm Collectibles. Who is your brother? I want to meet him. Well, you can see him in my toy hunt of San Diego. You can see like a piece of footage right there. You can see my brother right there. Because in last year, I did like a toy hunt all the way there to San Diego. And my brother, he went with me in that day. And I had a great hunt in that time. I saw him. Yep, that's him. That's my brother. He's the one who found like a dagger figure. Master Chief. Can you start doing um, stop motions? I love that stuff. Yeah, me too. I love to. I really want to do a stop motion video. But, I, but I've been seeing some videos of how you do a stop motion video. Is it that you need a lot of space? So maybe I will get another phone. And with that phone, I'm going to buy a memory. And with it, I'm going to have a bunch of memory. And I will do a stop motion video, but I don't know which um, type of video that I will do of a stop motion. Any ideas, guys? Let me know. Now, John said in the Storm Collectibles in the Mortal Kombat line, I hold it there. I hold it like a review on the Liu Kang figure because it was shown as a prototype, but there will be any news about that Liu Kang figure. Let me see. Red, just download Stop Motion Studios app. It barely takes up any oh any footage. Well, I'll take it a try. I'll take it a shot. But remember, I will do stop motion videos when I get another phone. And but still, I don't know what story should I do. Master Chief, you will make some cool fire 
stop motion because you have a lot of figures, bro. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. But still, I don't know what store should I do I will stop motion video. Mm. Because I do like stop motion videos. And also, I'm, I'm subscribed to a channel. I forgot what his name. Uh, it being a, I don't pay attention to his name, but he did like a stop motion video of Dragon Ball Z when Goku's fighting with Freezer, Cell, and Broly. And then I saw another one of Predator in the Avengers. And then the Power Ranger one that was downloaded last year. Yeah, that one. Saw Wave. I remember the name. Yeah, because I was seeing his videos that I feel I want to do some of the stop motion. Because he's the one that got me the idea that I want to do some stop motion videos. Because he is a great guy and great stories that he has. So thank you, Ray, for showing me the name. I watch him a lot. Yeah, me too. Okay, now I was talking about the Luke King figure. Hi, gaming life. Now I was talking about the Storm Collectibles Luke King figure that it was never shown again because it was shown as, as a prototype, but there had not been other news about it. But maybe in the toy fair they might show it as a full figure with paint apps. But the McFarlane version could be a, like a prototype and maybe a new one like Kung Lao. But Liu Kang is one of my is my favorite characters in the game. Toy Fair. I'm going to new but I can't see your comments because of the reflection of the sun. Let me see. I need to get closer. Who excited the toys? Me, I'm going to New York. New York. Ah, you're so lucky going to New York. And try to go to um, the Toy Fair. If you have like a Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, please send me some pictures. If you do go to the Toy Fair, send me in my, in my Instagram or Twitter, whatever um, social media you have. Send me some pictures, okay? I'm four hours away in room. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Thank you, Gaming Life. And also, take care and be safe out there in New York and have a great time too. Okay, now we have to talk more about. Well, I forgot to talk about one figure that you made in the Injustice line, and that was um, Zod. Thank you. You're welcome. And that was. Zod and that guy will be a good figure to make and also I hope they make um, a Scorpion figure for the Injustice and that was kind of cool they add Scorpion in the game I didn't even mind at all okay so what kind of reveal will be showing at the Toy Fair oh yeah Power Rangers they might show Wave 5 and maybe some exclusive 15 likes. Oh, I got 15 likes. And what about dislikes? Let me know the dislikes too. Yeah, maybe they might show Wave 5 and some exclusives like GameStop exclusive. If some of you guys have not heard, zero dislikes. If some of you guys have not heard that GameStop they're selling uh, another. Um, Lord said figure with Rita And you can order it at GameStop that is a GameStop exclusive You can or you, all you need to do is go to GameStop and Then order it right there. They're not gonna have it in stocks. Maybe in a couple of months It might have it in stocks in GameStop So if you guys are excited for that two-pack you can order it at GameStop right now All right, then so we might see some exclusive ones over there but wanna know what type of exclusive it will be? But there's only one way to find that at the toy fair. Okay, and for oh yeah, I still have more to talk about the diamond select. If they're gonna show wave two, hi, J Master of Lightning. Can you do okay, like an A what? 
Like, they're gonna be like a third wave of the Avatar figures from the Diamond Celeste, and maybe a new wave three of the Castle Olivia figures. I don't know if I'm saying the name right. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore you. Because remember, there's kids who are watching this live stream video. You And some kids, they don't know what these messages are. You have to think, okay? Because there's kids who are watching this video. Okay, now... Yeah, that's the name of the show that I'm watching on Netflix. So maybe they might show wave 3 of that. Um, Castle Liv uh, Livia, I believe it's called. I can't, can't it's not pronounce the name. For Marvel Legends, are we gonna see new Marvel Celebs, new waves of Marvel Legends? James Wicks, Wax. What is that? I'm nine today, my birthday. Today's my birthday. Oh, today's your birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore your comments. You know what? If I get one more bad comment, I'm just gonna stop the live stream right now because I don't like this type of behavior you guys are doing with me. I'm not doing nothing to you guys. Now, I will try to say, for Diamond Celeste, and my show some new Marvel Celeste, new ways of Marvel Legends, and maybe some new ones that we're going to see. And for DC, maybe some new DC Multiverse, DC Icon, no, DC Icons, I heard that they've been cancelled, so maybe some new figures of DC, um, multi not Multiverse, um, McFarlane. And maybe some new DC figures from Mexico. But I bet that a Toy Fair will be. It will be a pack for a lot of people. Because like one time that a Toy Hunter named. A Toy Hunter named. Um, Jay. Nah. Sissy Nerd that he went to Toy Fair in the one in 2018. So I see Toy, co toy Hunters, Toy Collectors are going right over there. If I get some good footage of the new toys that will be showing at the Toy Fair, I will do a special toy news. And I can't wait what kind of reviews I'll be showing at the Toy Fair. And let me see. I forgot one more. Oh yeah! For Figma. Are, still gonna, are they are still going to continue the Yu-Gi-Oh! line? Because I really want them to make characters into figures that they never made into figures before. And... Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, what else? They should continue the line. Mm. Right now, I have nothing to talk about. Well, I think that's pretty much it that I really want to talk. Oh yeah, one more thing. Now, what kind of reviews will be showing in the NECA line? I think this might be the last time I'm going to talk about. The only thing. That what kind of sh toys will be showing from the NECA line? They're going to be new figures from Crash Bandicoot? Or they're going to be new figures of Spyro? Horror figures? If, and see what else? Team Forces? Oh yeah! And a thousand toys. I forgot to talk about a thousand toys. It's a brand new company they're making new figures. So far they've already done a Hellboy figure and some couple of figures from the Devil May Cry. We got Dante and Nero. Dante and Nero so far we got. So and I heard that they're still making more figures from the Hellboy line and maybe they might show some new ones in from the Devil May Cry line. And also a new one is coming that is Master Chief. That one, I can't wait. And talk about any more fans being 
haters. Do you cover Figma? Yeah, I did cover Figma. All right, thank you, Sakura. Saw motion. Yeah, I was I was been talking about a little bit about Figma that they want. I really wanted to continue the line of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Or maybe some new Figma figures from like Face Stay Awake. I forgot to talk about that. And I was just I was trying to talk about that like, NECA. And I bet they might show some new horror figures around there. And let me see. Hmm. Let me see for what else. Yeah, Thousand Toys. That they're making a brand new Master Chief. And that one I'm so excited for because Master Chief, can you do a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck video yeah yeah I'm gonna do a, a video of that showing my Yu-Gi-Oh cards I have like a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards right now but I'm just gonna show you my but I only do like three decks of Yu-Gi-Oh and those I'll be showing you in, in, the, in the next video now try to say the Master Chief figure for the thousand toys is really cool maybe they will show it at the toy fair and with some new ones and what I'm so excited about that Master Chief is is the light sword that he casts. And also about Star Wars. There are going to be some new Star Wars figures from the Black Series. So far, I love the Darth Vader. And I like the Rey. And I also like the Executioner. But I have not gotten that one yet. But maybe I'll find the GameStop. But hold that they review more Star Wars figures. And for SH Figure Arts, if some of you guys are fans of Dragon Ball C, maybe that's something they might show some new ones out there. Mm, not yet. I'm gonna see it on Tuesday because because remember what happened to my package because of my, of my package I got so worried that I never went to see the Sonic movie but right now I'm all calm and I'm gonna get another set of toys replaced from the last package it was um, missing that never arrived here in my house now oh yeah maybe they might show some Sonic figures from the movie I kinda forgot I didn't think about that like last year Toy Fair that they were showing some Pokemon movies toys so maybe they might show some over there and let me see I forgot to talk about the, oh yeah that they gonna make some new SH figures from the Dragon Ball C line I heard that they're gonna make a road check and um let me see Master Chief mm-hmm yeah, I've not seen the movie sign it, but I'm saying that I heard they're getting a road check. They're making a, a Android 13, but that's just only rumors where I heard. And although someone out there gets good footage, if they're gonna make some new, more miraculous ladybug toys, because I wanted to make a carrot base so we can finally complete the set of the team miraculous. Cause we got Rina Rouge, Ladybug, Queen Bee, and Cat No R. Like we are in Cat Noir. And they have to make carapace to complete the team. And not just only carapace, also wanted to make Roy Singh. Because Roy Singh is a new superhero in the map the Miraculous TV show. So maybe we get some good footage of Miraculous Ladybug toys. But who knows? We don't know what kind of reveals will be showing over there at the Toy Fair of New New York Toy Fair 2020, but I bet that it will be epic for every collectors out there. Like I said, Pixel Dan, he's the one who gets the most footage than Sherman's Prime, because Sherman's Prime he only like records like the toys that he likes, like Marvel Legends, um, DC, and sometimes he gets footage of NECA. I, I didn't miss 
pronounce me Jason oh I'm talking about the Jason figure I want to get the Jason figure from the Jason vs. Freddy and that one I'm not going to pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store I'm going to hunt it instead like I did with my Pennywise figure but maybe they might review some more um, Jason maybe they're going to review some new Jason figures over there in the toy fair and tell me if it's true guys is they're going to make a new Freddy Krueger movie because I saw it on a clip that Pennywise Frigger was scary. I don't think so. Because I saw the video saying that a new Fairy Cooler movie that is coming. It says they the year 2020. But remember, some videos could be fake. They made all fan made. But maybe you might see some new figures from Hellraisers, um, Penny It, um, Friday the 13th and Nightmare on M Street and maybe some new figures of Halloween and also Chucky figures okay and what else could be something new over there in the toy fair if you guys want me to talk about more about Figma let me know because I don't, I don't be, oh yeah there is I need to talk about that are we gonna see more figures of Overwatch on both Hasbro and Figma well, Hasbro they done a lot, like this guy here. I got Lucio. And this guy is really is amazing. But let's see if Figma does a version of this guy. But so far, I don't really know how many um, Overwatch figures that Figma already made. Because there's Tracer, Reaper, Widow Marker. Cool. Widow Marker, the Cowboy one, and some other characters. But I never played the game before. That's why I don't even know their names. But the figures are really great. And maybe you might see some new ones over there if you guys are fans of Overwatch. <laughs> 411, yeah. Yeah, maybe they might be showing more figures from both Hasbro and Figma. And for SH Figure Arts, I believe they might review more Sailor Moon figures. I heard a rumor that the line came to an end. I'm not sure if the rumor is, is right. But Street Fighter figures from SH Figure Arts, I hope they make more. Because this April, they're going to come in Bison. And say God, but I still prefer the old ones from Sona. And the whole day they make more um, Street Fighter characters that they never made to a figure before. And Storm Collectibles, maybe they might continue the line of. Hmm, they continue the line of, of the King of Fighters, I believe. But I'm not gonna get any of the figures from the King of Fighters because they made them too tall. Like around eight inches, so maybe I'll get them from the Capcom versus SNK. But who knows? If we're lucky, they might show a prototype of the Dark, um, Dark Stalkers and Killer Instinct, one of those figures, and maybe we we'll get a release date of the chain of the Gene figure from the Taken line. So everybody's getting ready for the Toy Fair, and everybody's so excited to go. But I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll go. New York Comic Con and the San Diego Comic Con. I'm going to both of them. Oh yeah, and there's gonna be a toy show right here in um, San Jose. I'm I'm still thinking about going there because the SO Hunter Sal he went there, and I saw his video. There's a lot of bunch of great toys, so maybe I'll think about going to the um, San Jose toy show, and maybe I might go to the Frankincense around here in, in Cali. There's got to be a lot of bunch of great stuff we'll be showing over there in the Toy Fair. And maybe we'll get a release date of the Hellboy figure. But yeah, I forgot to talk about from Bring Arts. That I hope they made an Aqua figure. Because Play Arts, they don't want. But not that very great scale. So I hope they made like a 7 inch or 6 and a half inches. I want to be taller than the Kairi, Riku, and Sora figures. And... Oh yeah, in the Diamond Solids, I don't know why the heck they, del they canceled the, the Pirates Caribbean figures. My brother would have won those. 
but maybe they might bring them back. But first, they need to sell them and see if they and see that how the how the sales going. But they had to cancel it. But maybe they might bring them back. And also, one that bring arts to get the license to make Dragon Guard figures, because ne because not even NECA ever made a Kingdom Hearts figures before. So I want bring arts to make to have. I really love the characters. I love playing them. Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy are still growing. Well, I need to get ready for tomorrow. I'm going to be seeing Let's see what kind of I want to say that I don't but don't worry, I'm going to delete those comments. That Mattel might reveal the new Star Wars movie that's coming. 